However, should you have pressed it inadvertently, kindly press it a second time so we do know that you are safe and sound in there. Thank you very much. Until we get out of Prague, it will take a minimum of 10, 15 minutes uh, coming to the Hilton Hotel, we saw there was lots of traffic leaving Prague, and we hope that that has all cleared up in the meantime. On and off during our trip, I will in honor of Woodrow Wilson, who was in 1918, after the end of the First World War, instrumental in the development in the foundation of what was for so many years until the fall of the Iron Curtain known under the name Czechoslovakia. He was instrumental in uniting the ethnic Czechs, ethnic Slovaks and ethnic Germans. So the main train station here named in his honor Wilson Nova. The street that we are on right now carries the name Wilson Nova. So the Belfry with the clock, that's the main train station here, yeah. so no book. And the middle section of the train station has been restored. The left side and the right side will follow within the next two years. So you're taking questions also? Definitely. If I can answer them happily, if not, uh, excuse myself ahead of time. So you're able to take trains all over you about a problem? Yeah, definitely. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Except to go to Passau, it would take you a full day, whereas by bus now, a uh, four-hour trip, sort of. Uh, over here on the left-hand side, that little building with the Greek columns, that's the State Opera House of the Czech Republic. The modern building here, part of the National Museum, and over here, the national, the old building of the National Museum, facing the famous Wenceslas Square, where in during the 1968 revolution, all the Warsaw Pact tanks were parked from up here all the way down to the end of Wenceslas Square and were in opposition to that occupation, of course, the young Czech by name Jan Pollock burned himself to death in opposition to that invasion. Yeah, to get back to the train trip to Passau, you would have to first go up to the north of uh, Czech Republic, and then you would get into Germany to the town by the name of Regensburg, which is upstream the Danube by car from the town of Passau, where we take you to about a one-hour car drive. This as we turn into the street here on the right hand then at the end of the street on the left side a building you surely got to know in the meantime the dancing house also known under the name fred and ginger house uh, one of the two architects one was a check and the other was the concert hall
Stang Ramen, which of course belongs to the Canadian American company Molson Coors. They occupy the city block on the right and on the left here. They do export to 37 countries around the globe. to Posa 147 miles, ladies and gentlemen. The rest stop will be for about 20 minutes time. The first half goes through a plain area, that is uh, the plains around Prague with fields left and right hand side of the road. Later on I will explain to you what mostly grows in this area here. After our rest stop, we will start climbing into what is known as the Bohemian Hills, Bohemian Forests. We will climb to a height of about 3,200 feet, and after our rest stop, the fields will stop. It's much too hilly, and you will see mostly livestock, cows, sheep, and goats. And from the former border point, then we have a half an hour, 30 minutes left until we get to Posa to your cruise ship. So the most part of our journey will take place in the Czech Republic. They will let you know once we leave Prague, once we get out of Prague, which will still take a couple of minutes. The town that we are looking for right now is Strakonice, as on the top here on the left hand side. The one bigger town between Prague and Passa. Otherwise, we go mostly 90% through villages. So Strakonice, the bigger town, big being relative population, about 25,000. inaugurated about seven years ago, financed by the European Union government in Brussels, Belgium, 
the Czech Republic is part of the, for the moment, still 29 European Union countries. To the right, you would go to the airport and to the beer town Pilsen. On the left-hand side, coming up, a beautiful old building was built in the 1200s, originally as a monastery over the centuries old. And, of course, we are still in the city of Prague. Czech language crossed out. You see the signs already up front here, the white signs with the red stripe going straight across here. Praha, the end of the city. We are leaving the city of Prague right now. Turn the bus comfortable in the meantime? Yeah? Yes. Okay. I don't know whether I mentioned it already, so I better repeat it. First stretch of our journey until our rest stop, a rather straight road. After our rest stop, with the climb into the Bohemian Hills, the roads change into narrow, windy, climbing roads. So the first half, a rather enjoyable ride on a sort of highway, off and on, at least the highway. And after the rest stop, really a country road, windy, narrow, and climbing.
no hops grown in this area but in the northern part of the Czech Republic even so they do import a lot of hops from Germany from Bavaria north of Munich the capital city of Bavaria where there is a huge area where they grow only only hops and 80% of their harvest there they export around the globe and the Czech Republic is one of the big importers. Just like everywhere else in Europe, in spring when you come along this road you will see one yellow field after the other just like everywhere, truly everywhere in Europe in springtime. Canola or also known under the name rape seed, not to be processed into cooking oil, canola oil, but into energy, into biogas, subsidized by the European Union government in Brussels, Belgium. The same story is true for corn. In autumn, when you come along this road here and you see the fields already now, one cornfield after the other, same story, not for human consumption, not even used as animal fodder, but processed into energy again, into ethanol, and also, also subsidized by the European Union government in Brussels, Belgium. deciduous trees with a few coniferous trees like spruce and fir and a lot of pine trees along this stretch of road later on when we start climbing into the bohemian hills mostly coniferous trees spruce and fir Sale stored outside here is used. 